This is an autonomous ball balancing platform, which is controlled via lab view. And today I'll discuss how I made it, how it works, and specifically how the PID algorithm controls this project. Completed as an end of the semester project for an engineering class titled Computer Methods, I built this project with my partner named Colin using 3D printed parts and various electronics components. These components include two MG995 servo motors, a seven inch resistive touchscreen overlay, the screen signal connector that goes with that touchscreen, and around 10 different 3D printed parts made by my artillery sidewinder 3D printer. In terms of the project code, the LabVIEW software was used along with its data acquisition unit. Standing for Laboratory Virtual Instrumentation Engineering Workbench, LabVIEW is a graphical programming language which uses drag and drop widgets and functions that can be connected with virtual wires. Throughout the semester, the goal was to learn both MATLAB and LabVIEW through performing weekly assignments and projects. Therefore, to show our growth in knowledge throughout the class, our plan for the project was to create a ball balancing system with the goal of refining a PID to keep the ball in the center. With the first step always being CAD, we used Fusion 360 to model an assembly for the project. Then, with the model refined and revised, we began the 3D printing and assembly process. Speaking of 3D printed parts, this points to the sponsor of this video, which is PCBWay. If you don't have a 3D printer and want to build this project, PCBWay is there to help with an easy to use 3D printing service. Standing as a premium manufacturer for prototype engineers, PCBWay also offers custom CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, injection molding, and even flexible PCBs. A link in the description will take you to their website where you can simply drag and drop Gerber files, design files, and or CAD files to get personalized parts shipped right to your door at competitive prices. Check out PCBWay.com, link in the description. With the final assembly completed, it is important to point out two unique design systems. First, with the need to have a platform that can tilt in both the X and Y directions simultaneously, this required multiple degrees of freedom, which was made possible by this dual direction joint. Second, to combat the same motion problem, 3D printed ball joints were designed to allow flexibility in the rod ends. With these design additions, it allowed the platform to freely tilt roughly 30 degrees in each of the four directions. To program this robot, the PID or Proportional Integral Derivative Algorithm was used, which is all based on different types of error between one desired value and the current measured value. For example, if you set your living room thermostat to 68 degrees, but the actual temperature is 72 degrees, this demonstrates a numerical error of 4 degrees, which can be used to reduce the error later. In order to efficiently reduce this error, the PID function must be used. Within this equation, the KP, KI, and KD variables are all constants, which can be chosen during the refining stages of the project. For the first term, KP is simply multiplied by the error of the difference between the desired value and the measured value. This first term is known as the proportional term. The second term is the integral term, which takes the past error plus the current error divided by the elapsed time for each step through the loop. Similarly, the third term is the derivative term, which can take the current error minus the past error divided by the elapsed time. Ultimately, with various KP, KI, and KD constants chosen, this determines the possible ranges of the U of T function based on the realistic error values. In application to this project, a while loop was used to constantly run code, which controls this mechanism. Conceptually, in order to know where the ball is at at all times on the platform, this introduces the need for a touch screen. Therefore, by using a ball that was heavy enough to activate the screen, the position of the ball can always be known along with the coordinates for the center of the screen. Thus, we have both the desired and the actual X and Y coordinates with the touch screen data which points to using the PID algorithm. In terms of the physical build, each servo is responsible for one direction of motion. Therefore, through a tedious process of refining the PID K constants for both the X and Y directions, the PID output could be mapped to the possible servo ranges. So through solving and going through numerous tests, the project output was an automated system that could actively respond and balance the ball on the platform. Although the ideal PID controller makes the ball travel straight to the center and then stop there without oscillating. We figured that since the ball was so heavy that there was little friction between the ball and the screen and that the majority of the assembly is 3D printed plastic, it was unrealistic to achieve this outcome. And so with that, that's all I have for this video. And so if you haven't already, I invite you to subscribe since you made it to the end. 
Also, the STL files for this project will be available on my Patreon for download, which is linked below. If you have any questions, you can comment and I'll be sure to get back to you. And once again, just thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.